at this point, she's under the impression that you're a... Uh, a what? A marine biologist. Your parents must be so proud of you, George. Oh, they're busting. <laughs> what are those people doing over there? What's going on over here? There's a beached whale. She's dying. Is anyone here a marine biologist? <laughs> Save the whale, George. For me. <laughs> so I started to walk into the water. I won't lie to you, boys. I was terrified. But I pressed on, and as I made my way past the breakers, a strange calm came over me. I, I don't know if it was divine intervention or the kinship of all living things, but I tell you, Jerry, at that moment, I was a marine biologist. George, I've just been reading this thing in the paper. It's unbelievable. I know, I was just telling the story. Well, oh, come on, George, finish the story. The sea was angry that day, my friends. Like an old man trying to send back soup in a deli. I got about 50 feet out and suddenly the great beast appeared before me. I tell you, he was 10 stories high if he was a foot. As if sensing my presence, he let out a great bellow. I said, easy, big fella. And then, as I watched him struggling, I realized that something was obstructing its breathing. From where I was standing, I could see directly into the eye of the great fish. Mammal. Whatever. <laughs> hey, well, what did you do next? Well, then, from out of nowhere, a huge tidal wave lifted me, tossed me like a cork, and I found myself right on top of him, face to face with the blowhole. I, I, I could barely see from the waves crashing down upon me, but I knew something was there. So I reached my hand in, felt around, and... Pulled out the obstruction. <laughs> what is that, a title list? A hole in one, huh?